largest clients from the visit, the bear hug action visit, Blue got 11 referrals in 2009. And that helped him. He says it created almost a million dollars of new business for him. So he went to visit this client. He said, the client said, I'm going to refer you over here. So Lou got the, the new client because his, his firm was not coming to see him. So Lou got 11 referrals out of that. Another one of our clients, when he went to visit some of his clients, what happened with him was they said, this is much more valuable than the compliance work you've been doing for me at the end of April. I value this time much more. He got the bright idea. Well, you know, I'm going to develop this into a service. He is now meeting with his clients in addition to the delivery time it's in April, three more times a year for a couple of hours, and he's actually billing them for it. And he's using the consulting rate rather than the compliance rate. And he's getting paid to go see them three more times a year. He's now teaching his other partners how to do that. His goal is to get his entire firm with their A clients on four times a year minimum meeting with clients talking about the future issues that they're having to deal with. I think you can do this as well if you'll spend that time. Now we're going to talk about referrals and centers of influence. Over the last uh, two or three years, you've been sitting in your office, and one day the phone rings, and on the end of the phone, someone says to you something like this. You, uh, your client, ABC Company, or Joe Blow, said that you did this for them, and I'd like to come in and talk to you about doing it for me. How many of that, you had that happen? When you got that referral, when that person came in, what happened? Did they become a client? Absolutely. How often? Every time. Almost every time. Every time for years. Did, did you have to go through a dog and pony show? Did you have to go through a sales presentation? Did you have to write a written proposal? Were they pre-qualified? Were they good clients when they came in? You know, what we found is that referrals when they come in are pre-sold. They're pre-qualified. You do a good job, they're pre-qualified. Now, when I first started working at Price Waterhouse, after the first year, I'd done a little bit of individual tax work. And so I started doing my mom and dad's tax return. You may have some of these clients yourself. And so the second year I did it, <clears throat> I had an aunt call me. She said, your mom said you did their tax return, and would you do ours too? She said, you're real cheap. <laughs> <laughs> so I started doing theirs. And then the next year, I had several more calls. And I finally had to say, Mom, listen, <clears throat> that's not my specialty here. I'm not really set up to do that. Uh, I'll be happy to continue doing yours and, and dad's, but I don't want to do it for all these other relatives. Oh, really? I thought you would. Well, it's just not what I do, Mom. 